Good evening, and welcome to Evening Song here at St. George's Anglican Church in Paris. The psalm appointed for this evening, Saturday the 22nd of August, is Psalm 84, and our reading comes from Mark chapter 4. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall shew forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul has a desire and longing to enter the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow has found her a house, and the swallows a nest where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion, who, going through the barren valley, find that there is a spring, and that the early rains will clothe it with blessing. They will go from strength to strength and appear before God in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the ungodliness. For the Lord God is both sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing shall the Lord withhold from those who walk with integrity. O Lord God of hosts, blessed are those who put their trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. My child, if you have given your pledge to your neighbor, if you have bound yourself to another, you are snared by the utterance of your lips, caught by the words of your mouth. So do this, my child, and save yourself, for you have come into your neighbor's power. Go, hurry, and plead with your neighbor. Give your eyes no sleep, and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, you lazy bones. Consider its ways and be wise. Without having any chief or officer or ruler, it prepares its food in summer and gathers its sustenance in harvest. How long will you lie there, O lazy bones? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed warrior. A scoundrel and a villain goes around with a crooked speech, winking the eyes, shuffling the feet, pointing the fingers with perverted mind, devising evil, continually sowing discord. One such a one calamity will descend suddenly, in a moment damage beyond repair. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that hurry to run to evil, a lying witness who testifies falsely, and one who sows discord in a family. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the loneliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. 
He has shewed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abram and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Mark. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great gale arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up, and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, shew thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only Thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not Thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, You declare Your almighty power most chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant to us such a measure of your grace, that we, running the way of your commandments, may receive your gracious promises, 
and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. May the souls of the faithful, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.